1998, V8 Supercar has undergone its own Formula One style silly season, with plenty of driver changes and a big injection of new blood keen to fill the void. It's all changed at the Mobile Holden Racing Team. Brock's retirement and the rapid Kiwi Greg Murphy resigned to the reserves bench has made way for the blistering speed of Mark Scaife, who teams up with Craig Lowndes, returning from a disappointing year overseas. Yeah, there's uh, probably a dozen guys that can win the races. Probably the hardest guy to beat will be, uh, will be Craig Lowndes. Our preparation in testing has been going very well. We're going to do a little bit more before the first race, so uh, you know, hopefully the cars are going to be right up to speed with uh, everyone else. Gibson Motorsport has had something of a rebirth in the form of young guns Darren Hossack and Darren Pate in a pair of wins Commodores. Well, it's my first season as a rookie, so I'll be taking it easy in the first few rounds, but towards the end I won't be happy with a top 10 finish. I want to be in the top five, so hopefully I can produce that. Yeah, well, the guys have been working hard over the break preparing the cars, and both Darren Pate and myself have been training hard over Christmas and will continue to keep training right through the season. The Wiley Gibson will also ease HRT's overload, contracted to run the factory team's official Young Lions entry for rising star Stephen Ellery. Well, the preparations are going great. We've had the car out on the track a couple of times and it's going excellent, so I'm really, really looking forward to the new year. After blotting his copybook at Bathurst, former Young Lions star Jason Bargwana has been given another crack at the big time. Gary Rogers Motorsport has expanded to a two-car operation, with Bagwana joining longtime Rogers team protege Stephen Richards. We've been out doing some testing, and our Holden Commodore's working fantastic, so we're, we're all fired up, ready to go. I think it's going to be tough. I think these guys out there racing are pretty hard. I think, um, you know, I think the Valvoline Cummins race team this year can actually pull off a couple of good results, but I'm going to be out there trying to win races and hopefully in the end of the championship be right at the pointy end. There's also been some seat shuffling in Queensland's Blue Oval Brigade. Reigning Gold Star champion Jason Bright takes over AJ's drive in the Pertec Falcon, teaming up with Mark Larkham in his increasingly competitive Mitre 10 Ford. I'm confident we can set up a few surprises for the regulars this year. Uh, we've got a good new car here, great sponsor, great team. In addition to the swelling numbers of professional level one entries, the privateers will also enjoy stronger support. This year, teams competing for the prestigious Privateers Cup must use a special Yokohama control tyre, which will not only save thousands of dollars, but also provide a level playing field for all. It should be quite a contest.